not get drawn into the trash talk too much. Opening kickoff, Dubby will kick it away to Joel. Here in wild card number two, <coughs> Drini was the winner against Spoto. He's going to be playing Prodigy. The winner of this one will face Young Kiv in the semifinals. I'm not sure that's that's going to be a reward for winning this one. Stretch play to Gurley off the start. Yeah, he's going to gain one yard. Oh, Kiv play. He's, he, the way he's played in this tournament, I haven't seen him make a bad read yet. He's playing lights out mad in football, but we'll play, play the winner of this game, like you said. Second and eight, Gurley. Gains another yard. It's going to quickly make it third and eight. I'll be stopping the run early. Gets Joel into a passing situation. Let's see what Joel has dialed up for the third and eight. And that's the tough thing. You, you guard the stretch, you guard the stretch, you guard the stretch, and then they hit you up the middle for a big run. Look at Joel bobbing, bobbing his head. Yeah, you got to watch the stretch and the dive. It's a good point. He said he was bumping some T Grizzly, getting himself ready for this game. I think that's one of my favorite guys out of the new rappers, that T Grizzly. It's not bad. Sounds right up your alley. Yeah. Third and eight. Ball at the 40. Here the opening drive, trying not to go four and out. Oh! It's going to push him back check, five check, yards. Check, 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 check. So now it's third and 13. He got stuck doing too many substitutions and hot routes. and You only got 30 seconds. You don't have forever. Yeah, forgot to call the play. 30-second play clock in that and not like the NFL where you get a 40-second play clock. Third and 13. Big shout out to all you guys out there watching on Twitch, YouTube, Facebook, Mixer, and, of course, Twitter. All day. Here comes the pressure. Uh oh. And it. Come on, kid. Pump almost ball, picked kid. off. Mm -hmm. It's going to be fourth and 13 kid. from the 35. You normally go for it. It'll be interesting to see what Joel does. That's good user by Dubby. He just stayed with that route the whole time. Joel lucky it wasn't picked off, off off the tip, but good defense by Dubby. Stopped the run. Good pass defense. I think that's the right move. You normally don't see punts, but Tackle. you really were struggling on those first three plays. Yeah, absolutely. You don't want to just give W three points. He's too good of a player. And uh, the one thing a lot of these, you know, W's the old man of the group, but these young bucks give him a lot of credit for his ability to adjust and adapt during the game as well as his clock management. There's no doubt from any of these players that W's one of the smartest competitors we have here at the tournament, if not the smartest. Yeah, I feel like when you're facing W, you got to get him earlier because he just gets stronger as the game goes on as Thompson moves to the 30. Yeah, it's intimidating if you ever play W. He'll tell you exactly what you want to do. Oh, I know what you want to do. You just want to run pace. And if, if you're going to pass it across and route here, the post right over the top, I'm going to pack it like this. He's, he's all over you, man. It's intimidating stuff. Second and seven. Cousins to Jackson. And there's the first first down of the game at the 44. I'll be throwing that wide receiver corner to the C route, as they like to call it. Throwing it a little bit early before he breaks outside. Found a nice hole in the zone. Thompson spinning his way. Picks up four, second and six. Vertical right now by Dubby. Look at the intensity of both of those players up there on the stage, Coltrane. They're locked in. We were expecting a trash talk fest. No, it's, dead, it's dead serious. Nathan Thompson picks up two more. It's going to bring up a crucial third and four right at midfield. And Dubby's been a little frustrated. He hasn't had a lot of success with the run. He's drafted four offensive linemen, which should allow you to run the ball well. Unfortunately for Dubby, he, he's always in these shotgun formations, so the run plays you can call are limited. Cousins. For these words to say to you right now. As Dubby serenades for the first down. <laughs> All he needs is spark. But there he goes. He's starting to move the ball. He's really getting in rhythm. Caught into field goal range after getting a stop. 
Dubby with all kinds of momentum right now. Cousins. I mean, he got Picked up the initial on, hand. Come on, man. But Come Khalil on, man. Mack. There's that aggressive pass rush again. Dubby just not looking to make a mistake. He's not really open. Maybe could have checked out to the flat for a yard gain. Takes the sack to get him out of field goal range. That's not good. Yeah, pushing him back to the 39. There's that fake snap you're talking about, Coltrane. Well, you see, you know, he knew that there was so much pressure. Hey, I'm going to see if he still has this thing on aggressive. And maybe that's Joel being a bit greedy. Yeah, and that's a good rule of thumb. If you take a sack, a coverage Where sack, or a block shot sack, right now. on the next play, you should fake snap it. Especially if you have a guy like Mack or Bosa or Clowney. Those guys really go to, like, this extra level when you put it on aggressive pass rush. Cousins. Okay, see, now Tubby has more time. And he finds Landry at the 10-yard line. He's in the dead zone. Oh, man, Tubby's looking relaxed. He's looking in rare form. Grizzled veteran, former Madden Ball champion, trying to become a two-time belt winner. He needed 14, he got 24. First and goal from the 10. Goes to Thompson. Spin move. Yeah. Gets caught up at the seven. Yeah, Dubby doesn't want Skimbo and Dr. Disrespect to be the only two-time championship winners. He's trying to join the club. Goes to Thompson again. Here comes third down from the four. Third and goal. Hurry up, he's going hurry up. Might see something he likes. Into the gun. Little offset. Looking for seven. Wow. Thompson reaches out, and he's at the half-yard line now. Fourth and goal, and he needs a foot. Oh, my goodness. This is a big play. This is a hold-the-door moment right here, Coltrane. This is where you got to get the Grizzlies and the beef up front. You got your Bob Ross time now here. He's going for it. He's getting up to the line of scrimmage. Look at Joel. He's locked in. Yeah. There's some of your Grizzlies. Only three of them. He's going to flip the script. Play clock running down. I think he's going to take the delay of game and take the three. Wow. That's the thing, though. You, you, you know, you get the player to jump, and it might only mean a few more inches. But that could be the difference between getting a quarterback sneak. Yeah, you're right. All right. The other thing he might have wanted to do was come out, take a look at the front Joel's showing him. Yeah. If I like what I see, we're going to snap it. If I don't like what I see, worst case scenario, take the delay of game, field goal. Nonetheless, getting a stop and then turning it into points, that's a big yeah. deal. Try to get scummy with it, but they'll mark it at the 25-yard line. Took the entire quarter to get three points. That's tough. Yeah, Joel looks focused, man. He's This young man's impressed me so much. I know a lot of people call him the cap god, and he talks a lot of trash, but when you hang out with him after these events, he is a, a polite young man, very well-spoken, obviously really passionate about this game and puts in a lot of work. I mean, he was labbing late into the night. And that's God spelled G-A-W-D. Yeah, the God. Second and eight at the 27. Motion from Crowder. Marino under center. Danny. Hits Todd Gurley. Gurley picks up the first down at the 37-yard line. And I like that right there from Troll. Don't just be obvious and run every first down, every second down. Second down right there, mixes in a pass play, attacks the flat. That's how you open things up a little bit right there. Eli Apple on the hit. They'll stretch it on first and ten. And Ajaye makes a man miss for three. That's one thing that's so scary about the stretch is you see the DB come in and off the edge ready to make the tackle. But once he misses that tackle, it could be off to the races. Second and seven now. And Ajaye will pick up the first down. Missing vodka and We're here live at the Madden Classic in Los Angeles. Dubby and Joel here in the wild card stage. Winner plays Young Kiv. The finals are tomorrow.
And I need you up. So we got the wild card. We got the semis today. That, that nine Eastern tomorrow. It's finals time. Got a new battle challenge champion. That someone gets a new belt. That belt's swaggy too. You seen that thing yet? Yeah, got a little Tom Brady on it. Oh man, that thing is nasty. That's a cool club to Joy. Joy to one of those belt winners. Good stuff, Eli. Come on. Man. Serious Mo, Skimbo, Beast Mo. Yeah, Spot me, please. Spot me, please. <laughs> Dubby, of course, at the Madden Bowl a year ago. Stiff, Stiff Meister. You get to be at some exclusive company right there. Come on, AJ. Yes, Gets sir. to the 40. On, and so Joel methodically moving it downfield. And that Come clock on, is on the move. It's just 315 left in the first half. This game is going by quick. Yeah, when you're dealing with someone like Joel who likes to run the ball. Dubby didn't have a lot of incomplete passes. He was moving the chains. The clock stays moving. That was a big first down by Joel Dubby. Hit stick him so hard, his guy went flying across the <laughs> forward across the line of scrimmage when he took out his legs. Runs it toward the bunch. The Jaye into the red Come zone, on, man. down Come to the 16 yard on, line. Man. Joel's in business. Yeah, Joel is looking good on this drive. And then he, he didn't obviously, he wasn't in that single back wide trips. Nice juke, right? Come on. Mixed it up, ran the ball out of some shotgun, give W a new look. Of course, the new zero chill items that are coming out. There's some unfakeables in there. Might come into play later on in the season. Yeah, and salary cap when you can use those chemistry abilities. But this is much draft. Yeah, 20 rounds, you're the GM, you get uh -oh. to come pick your players, and that's why he so picks bad. Todd Gurley and the former Make Georgia over, Bulldogs. So that's too so easy. We'll go oh, in man. for six. Dubby. Make this a challenge. So bad. He's going to be trailing now that here in the first half. Easy. You're so bad. Joel, let him have it. And I like that. You know what I call this right here? Oh, this is focus. Come on, man. Get into the end zone. Oh, so stop, man. Come on, man. Rage. Let's stop. Look at that reaction from Joel. You got to focus and then rage. Of course, the Georgia Bulldogs in the college football playoff. There's going to be some good players coming into the league next year that will find their way into some of these rosters, just like Todd Gurley did there. Goes back to Thompson. Trailing by four. And this is where you're going to see some of that experience the goal here, and correct me if I'm wrong, RG, he wants to take this thing all the way down and <clears throat> score with about 10 on, seconds man. or less. No, no, you're absolutely correct. We've seen Dubby do this several times. Uh, th this is where he really shows as a Madden player, but in order to do that, he's going to have to move the sticks. Yellow, six guys, check six guys. Hey, flip, flip. Second and seven at the 28. Cousins, you like that? And there oh, goes that, Jackson to the 39. I don't know about that juke right there if you're dubby. You catch the ball with Deshaun Jackson. Look at this replay. You need to catch this ball and just keep trying to run. Oh, no stuck, juke. Man. Got, stuck, man. Got, ju got a little greedy right there. He might have been off to the cripple. He had his horse sitting right beside him. Just needed to get on board. Yeah, it wasn't a short thing, but for, from looking at it here, I don't, I don't like the juke. Good dot, though. Really if good you pass, come down though. and you score seven here and you don't give Joel a chance, maybe it all turns out for good. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's a really good point. But you'd rather just score. Oh, yeah, if you can <laughs> score, you, you take the points. You're not trying to lay down here and get cute, not in the wild card stage. Survive in advance. The other thing is Joel's offense isn't high powered where he just slants it quickly down the field, you know? He needs it feels like he needs time to put Pick. guys together. Come on, There's man. Landry Indeed. can't Come hold on. on. He was hit. And that's gonna bring up a third and nine. 118 to go in the half. I'll be looking for that curl flat play. Put the focus right there. Chris McFarland. Four or five, 90 yards. Prolific passer. One of the best we have. 
This is going to be a timeout by Dubby. Both of these guys, you, you can catch them out. They stream on Twitch. They interact with the community. See them making some adjustments right there. Don't look as fast as Jones' photo, though. Cousins has time. No. Come on, man. Good D. Into One the more, window. man. Good defense, man. One more. Joel is playing good defense right now, adjusting to what Dubby wants to do. Dubby's got himself in a crucial fourth and nine situation. This is a big play right here at the end of this first half. This is a momentum play in this game, Coltrane. Fourth and nine at the 38. We have a situation here. Needs to get to the 29 to continue this drive. Cousins. And he mm. low passes it to Landry. And the juice picks up the first down. Good poise right there by Dub Dot Dubby. Pressure is on. He turns on his clutch trait. Gets a first down. Now he needs to finish the job. There's a timeout by Joel. 53 seconds to go in the half. Dubby trying to take the lead right before the break. Yeah, you see it. He's leaving Joel limited time. This drive has been biblical so far. Gonna keep it up. Oh, Thompson spins to the 24. That's Joel's final timeout. Third and six at the 24-yard line. 49 seconds to go. This is a big play because you don't know if Dubby would go for it here on fourth down. He probably would want to take his point, so... Big third and six right here. I don't think this is two down territory. He needs to pick up the first down. Yeah, Dubby's tendencies would be a field goal here. Cousins. Everything looks locked. And what? Oh, man, oh. the defense! Come on, man, let's lock had let's it lock in his hands. Come on, man, let's go. And he dropped it. Good defense, boys. He had come open oh. for a second, RG. Oh, yeah, no, this is a good read by Dubby. It was the go, only man, the read defense. he could make. But the secondary was on catch. the hip, able to break the pass up. I need that catch. That was hot. I need that catch. Mm -mm. Oh. Well, he makes the lead now oh, no, one for one Joel one. with 40 seconds to go. Joel doesn't have any timeouts, and he needs to be careful here. Yeah, exactly. You need careful the lead at the half. Careful is the right uh -oh. word. Uh-oh. Scum kick. Found Scum that. kick. Steps out of bounds at the nine. If you're Joel, too, you might want to go on conservative ball carrier here. I know you like to run the ball. Got to watch out for a fumble, potentially. The risk is much higher than the reward right now at the nine. Dubby does have two timeouts here as well, RG. This is the same run he had a big play on earlier in the game. Gurley. He had a big run earlier. Gives him some space at the 29, and he'll hurry up to the line. 30 seconds to go in half number one. Damn, that gun bunch tight end looking sweet play is getting a little chunks of yardage. It's an inside zone. As you can see there on the previous play feature, I just missed it. Bad stick work on the Telestrator. That's why you're over here. They're, your reflexes, I know, I know you played for a long time, RG. This is second late now. Oh, uh-oh. Gurley gets a nice block, and he can get out of bounds. Smart play by Joel. So now he's out to the 38. If he can get in field goal range here, he would have erased everything Dubby did on his previous drive. Yeah, but I don't know if he has the pass and play to do it. Joel's run game's been so impressive. Oh, it's Marino. And he'll just throw that away. What I've liked about Joel's passing game, though it's not like young Kiv, he, he's not all over the place with it. He's at least smart with the ball when he does air it out. I haven't seen him force too many things. Big time chess player. You think at this point he's thinking a couple moves ahead. Dubby's also pretty good at chess too. Jaye needs to get out of bounds and he will at the 48. Well, you, you need a quick pass play here. You need to pick up about 14 yards to even have an opportunity. Yeah, me and even then it would be a 50 plus yarder. I was thinking about a Joel Dubby chess match. That would be a fun sideshow, huh? <laughs> they both have Caleb Sturgis. 
Uh oh. God. Uh oh. Good to you. Oh, he big tackled tackle. and bounds. Uh, I well, I can see you broadcasting a little, little chess. You know, they have a night, you know, so you'd be like, well, he's moving his horse. He's moving his horse, Coltrane. Checkmate. It's seven to six, a one point game here at the half. Scott Cole along with RG. And I tell you what, it's kind of what we thought it would be. I maybe thought we'd see a little bit more scoring, but it's a it's a back and forth defensive battle. Yeah, this is a matchup of even skilled players, two top players in the world, and it's going to be a game of inches. Like you saw on W on that third and six in the goal line, it could have been a hot one, but the defender just there enough to knock it out. And when we say it's a game of inches, that's a great example of that. This is going to come down to just a couple of plays. This is going to be a really interesting second half. This game is so close. Well, Dave, we got a tight one over here. We sure do. Thank you, gentlemen. 7-6 at the half. Joel with a slight lead. Now, fellas, we haven't seen as much capping as I thought we were going to see at the start of this game, but it's still like we just heard our casters talk about. It's been back and forth. There's been some animations. There's been some defense played. Rico, what did you see in that first half? I think both of them are a little bit nervous right now, and they don't want to cap and then lose because <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to have to wind up eating your words. We saw a great first half. Dubby getting that ball back in the second half is going to be really key. How he starts off that drive, he's going to need to start getting sevens and not kicking threes. He's be, he'll be the first one to tell you you cannot win Madden if you consistently take threes. Well, he's going to need to put some touchdowns up and do it soon. It's been a lot of what we expected. We'll see here. Great run game from Joel early, able to make some adjustments, but W's really limited ex the amount of damage done by that run game. Just that one score so far for Joel in the first half. Todd Gurley, Jay Ajayi for him have been working for him all tournament, especially today. So a good run, good for him. overall W getting that score, pull it within a point, and then using some veteran moves to kind of manage the clock. He used a timeout. He used a special kick there on the sideline to keep Joel from scoring before the half. We're 7-6 right now. This is anyone's game, and I think it's going to get even tighter, like, emotionally in the second half. Like, I don't expect them to start just because it's not very opened up. I think they're going to all kind of keep it inside until we're going to get that one monster moment. As soon as somebody gets a lead, Look for the floodgates to open in that cap. It could get ugly yeah, really soon, quick. As soon as that game is in check. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, you if you're looking to beat the cold and build your gridiron dynasty in Madden, Ultimate Team, assemble the best roster imaginable with Mutt Zero Chill with wintry themed players and challengers and take your team to Madden glory. Now, it is a little bit strange, guys, being here at a Madden Championship Series event and Michael Skimbo not being here. He's been in attendance for every event up until this one, but we have not forgot about Mike Skimbo. Our very own Rico Williams was able to catch up with the Madden Classic Champion. We're here in Los Angeles, the home of many stars, but today there was one star, Michael Skimbo. Skimbo going to win him the Madden 18 Classic. Look at him. He took off. Kimbo, two belts, Madden Classic Championship. How does it feel? To make history just means the world to me. Win the second belt means the world to me. There was a time where I didn't know if I was going to win one, and now that I got, I'm the first one to have two, I feel great. Now, you talk about your place in history. Has it really hit you that you've done something during the Madden Championship Series era that no one's been able to do? It, it, it does hit me that I've done that, but as far as I, that I realize how great it is, I think that'll be down the road, but I do realize the history I'm making right now. Some people just think, hey, it's a video game and he plays, but this is a full-time job for you. I'm playing 8 to 12 hours a day, Rico. It's nonstop, and when I'm not playing the game, when I finally go out and work out, I'm watching film while I'm working out. I'm thinking about route combinations. It honestly never stops. Enjoy these moments, because these are the moments you're going to look back at the Madden Classic, the challenge, the Madden Bowl. It means everything to me. You know, to have competitive Madden on this stage and being this big and this much money, it, it's awesome. I, I don't want it to ever stop. You know, it's just, I hope it just keeps growing and growing because this is awesome. Well, he's looking down the road, and so are we. Mike Skimbo, thanks for coming out. Good luck. Keep making history. Thank you, Rico. Very cool. Rico, how cool was that? Chopping it up with the champ. Oh, it was great. We had a good time. We're going back and forth at it. And I wonder if that Skimbo knew that he wouldn't be here at this next event. He was in such a zone, and we had such a great streak. We'll, we'll see him in the Mud Ultimate League, but 
It's, it's kind of it's, it's I mean, sad that he's not here. The most important thing that that champion knows is that not only will he be in the Madden Ultimate League because he was top two, he's also in the upcoming event at the Pro Bowl, the club championship. So he won the New England Patriots uh, club championship. So he'll be representing his favorite team there. He'll be in the Madden Ultimate League. And there is a lot more for Michael Skimbo to do this season. Yeah, safe to say Michael Skimbo's doing just fine. He's going to have some opportunities oh, yeah. to play some Madden. <laughs> right now, Adrian Lawrence is on the sidelines. We'll go down to Adrian. Yes, I'm here with Joel, and you're leading 7-6 to six right now over Debbie. And you tend to be an aggressive player, but this time you're taking more a conservative approach. Can you tell us why? Um, just because I know that if I blitz too much and I go ahead and just run hard flats or just in general leave a, a lot, Debbie's not going to miss a read. I need to make him make a read, so I'm going to play conservative, sit back and wait for him to do something. I'm really not going to force too much. On the offensive side of the ball, I've taken what he's given me. I've been running the ball. I've been... Uh, basically controlling the clock and even though he has one more possession than me and he stopped me on the first drive I'm still up 7-6 just because I punted and made him drive all the way down the field and I controlled him and as I mentioned before you two definitely like to chirp some and at the Madden Classic you had your say while you were in the stands uh, when Debbie was playing and you know Rico told you if you want to go against Debbie and you want to have something to say about it then you need to compete and you've gotten here so can you tell us what are you thinking in your thought process? I just got to lock in, win this game, and then from there I can see if I chirp. I chirped at the Madden Classic. I wasn't at the Madden Classic, and now I'm here. So I'm really just focused on here, present right now. I need to lock in, finish, and wrap up the second half and uh, win this game. Well, best of luck to you. Thank Scott, you. RG. Thanks so much, Adrian. Well, Joel looks locked in. He's going to have a task here off the beginning because – Dubby's going to get the ball first. Yeah, but Joel, he strikes me as someone, you heard him, he's living in the moment. He's not worried about the pass or the chirping, Focus at the task at hand, living in this opportunity, and I love to see that from uh, the young buck. He has, you know, a young mind but a veteran mentality, and that's what you love to see. Well, he's got a one-point lead, 7-6. to six. Here we're about to start half number two of the wild card round. Winner faces young Kiv. <laughs> Again. Like you said, that's it's, I don't know if that's a reward. I'm excited about that, but hey, if anybody could face off against Kevin and be okay, it's guys like Dub Dot Dubby at Joel CP. So Dubby's got the ball at the 33 yard line. Dubby rocking the Timbs out here in the West Coast, bringing some East Coast flavor. Joel's got on the cool gray 11s. One of my favorite. Actually, got married in those cool gray 11s. There's that fake snap. Catches Joel on an aggressive pass rush. Gets himself a nice first and five. Ball to 38 now after the penalty. Cousins will hand it off to Thompson. Thompson will work his way to the 48-yard line. Nice game by Thompson. Yeah, that inside zone looked good right there. Looked like one of the guards missed one of the linebackers on the block. How big has Chris Thompson been? I mean, he's, it looks like he's asking him to run that inside zone. He'll go to the air. Uh oh. Come, come on, man. Cousins. Come on, man. You gotta be careful. Come on, man. So you watch a lot of W in the past. He looks like a Derek Carr, an Aaron Rodgers, you know, somebody with a bit more speed. You don't find that really from Cousins. He's not super slow. But he definitely doesn't have wheels. No, and he's expressed that frustration. He said playing, getting ready for the classic. He was using the Seahawks, playing with Russell Wilson. That got him so used to those mobile quarterbacks. Nice find there at the 26-yard line. So in under a minute, he's already well deep in Joel's territory. Yeah, and that can take some of the pressure off. Though he obviously wants to get a touchdown, the fact that he's in field goal range and can retake the lead, as long as he doesn't turn the ball over or take a sack. Got to be a good feeling for him. The air once again. Quick read to the outside. Breaks a tackle. And he'll move it to the 21-yard line. Nice gain there by Julius Thomas. I love, look at that focus on those players right there. Oh, that's hot. Down to the three. It's going to be first and goal for Dubby. What an opening drive to start the second half. Dub, Joel mixed in a little bit of man coverage right there. Dubby gets the C route. That's a timing route on man coverage. You have to throw it right off of the cut. Perfect timing by Dubby. Big game. Can he punch it in? Let's go, man. Right the defense. Up the gut Come is on, Ellis. 
The big sack, that'll push him back seven to the 10 yard line. Jeez, Ellis just shed it on, to man. two people. And that's Rodney on, Hudson, man. the mutt hero center from the Raiders, who looked lost on that one. Yeah, it looked like some confusion from the old line right there. Second and goal. Oh. Close to an interception. You hold it. You hold it. You hold it. Oh, you hold the mic. My Go goodness, up. man. Yeah, I'll explain that right after this play. Cousins on third and goal. To the end That's zone. Oh. It's, a, it's a touchdown dubby. Oh, he goes right oh, back oh, to oh, it oh, for oh, six. Kids at home, you can't just hold wide and run around anymore, man. And that Shout out to my man Rex. You're the user. You're the user. And what Dubby's saying is we put in a new thing in Madden 18 where if you're holding the Y button where you use your defender while the quarterback has the ball, there's a timer that goes off. And if you go past that timer, your catch jam significantly drops. There's the touchdown pass. That was a hot one. Yeah, because in Madden 17, that's what a lot of the users just run around holding Y. They run around holding Y, so when the ball goes out, they kind of suction to the ball. Now you need to press the Y button when the ball's in the air. You can't just run around holding it while the quarterback has the ball, and Joel got caught doing that right there. So 13 to seven now. 2.49 left here in the third. Joel's got to go to work. Yeah, if you see that bad timing drop pick banner, that, that's what that meant. Yeah, you were holding the Y button. 14 carries for 110 yards and a touchdown for Joel. Big possession right here for Joel. Goes back to Gurley. He's been the yeah, bell cow yeah, of this yeah. offense, but he loses two. And Tuppy getting a little comfortable. You heard Rico. He said once a big play happens, the floodgates might open for Tappen. Tuppy getting a little loose up there on stage. Second and 12, Gurley now. Nice gain. It's going to be second. Uh, excuse me, third and short. Whitehead on the tackle at the 32. Remember, Joel stalled out on his opening drive of the game. Right now, that's the difference. Marino under center. Ajaye, first down. That'll move the chains. We'll hurry up offense right here. Joel must like what he sees. Yeah, you got to watch that inside zone to this side. We're having a lot of success with that. Jaye makes a man miss, and he's past midfield to the 48-yard line. Yeah, that inside zone of that gun punch tight end is looking great for Joel. He's getting over 10 yards a pop almost any time he runs that, and it's in his audible, so that's not a play he's coming out in from the play call screen. He's coming to the line of scrimmage doing his Peyton Manning. Omaha, Omaha gets to that formation and runs the play. Well, that's why I'm so excited. With the, the new audibles that were dropped in a recent patch. They don't have those opportunities right now, but the future of Madden continues to get better and better. Oh! Gurley to the 26 now. He's got 89 yards on 14 carries and a touchdown. And the two headed monster of Gurley and Ajaye continues to roll. Yeah, it looks like Dubby might have brought out his stretch defense for this game, but his inside zone defense not looking great. And Joel's just going to keep going right back to it. Ajaye. This time, Anthony Barr makes a play. And that was a user play. And Madden, when you can't stop something, the best thing to do is try to take it away yourself. They'll be able to make the user tackle right there on that inside zone. You see him shift the Grizzlies over to the left. And that's why you see the tempo. You got these two running backs. So you can just keep pounding the rock so you feel like your guy's tired. You take a break. You put your the other running back in, and you start to go at it again. Big third and six. Joel so far fantastic and sticking to his game plan. 22 rushes right there, only four pass. Playing conservative, like he said, doesn't want to force anything. Big third and six for him right here. Well, nice out route to Diggs. And it's a first down. Can you dig it? Stephon Diggs, too. Good dude. We saw him at the yep. Vikings Club Championship last year, hanging out with all the Madden fans, signing autographs. Fan of Madden himself. 
having a good season there in Minnesota as well. And Gurley lowers his head. Mm, Little truck stick on, to the one. And oh, go. third on, quarter, where have you gone? Put the fours on, up. Man. The ball at the one, trailing by six. This is a tight-knit battle, isn't it, Coltrane? Going into the fourth quarter, Joel down six, but has the ball Not on bad. Dubby's oh, one. With the screen crack. This game's right living away. up to expectation. This is a tight. Goal line tight formation. And Dan Marino mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. didn't do a lot of that in his career. But he gets a rushing touchdown here and pending the extra point. Joel takes the lead. Back and forth battle. Look at San Marino sneak. The QB sneak not as effective this year. You don't get it, you don't get as much surge as you have in years past. Yeah, yeah. It's still still a good play call to try on those, you know, second and short. If you got a half down. yard, yeah. Especially but, with the goal line, you know, all you got to do is break the plane, and he does it there. Yeah, but yeah, we've come a long way with that. There was years with Mike Vick, you run that goal line, <laughs> sneak, you take, take it to the house. You've just brought up some painful memories for a lot of folks watching. Yeah, you know, <laughs> second and inches back on it. <laughs> you know, your own 25 yard line, you just try to sneak for the first down before you know it, Vick's. Sprinting 75 yards. Of course, that happens in the real game sometimes. You know, you're trying to, on defense, you're trying to stop them for one yard. You end up giving up 80. Yeah, because so, everyone's so committed, you don't got any help. Second and five. W trailing by a point. Checks it down to its back. Chris Thompson. Joel does a fantastic job of running this DB fire, too, but he'll take those blitzing uh, DBs. These goons right here. And he'll manually adjust these guys right there. Make them, man them up on, you see them? They're manned up right there. On the Dubby needs defense. two and he gets hit. It's gonna bring up a huge fourth and four. Peters on the stop. Joel with just great adjustment out that DP fire too. Mixing it up, keeping Dubby off balance and biggest play of the game so far right now. What are you going to do, Dub Dub Dubby? Fourth and four. Yeah, look at that defensive play art. Look at that Coltrane. Look how custom that looks. Going deep. Is it high? No. DeAndre Hopkins can't pull it in. He's about to digest. I guess. So now we'll see what, if Joel can make this an eight-point game if he can punch it in here on the table right now. He's got the ball. 31. He wants it. That's a young man right there with some fire in his heart, Coltrane. Second and eight. He's going to try to use some of this clock, too. Oh, Joel is not in any type of hurry. You're already at the 30. You're in field goal range. Limited time left. Just can't take a shot. Can't turn it over. Oh, big time yeah. truck. Come on, man. As Eric Allen gets destroyed. Wow, look at Joel. He can feel himself getting closer and closer to that belt. Looking for the W against his rival, Dub Dub W on the big stage. Two teams from Pennsylvania Steelers and Eagles. Of course, Joel from D.C., W from Philly. Dubby desperate right now to make a play, Coltrane. He needs to get something going. He needs to get a hit on this running back. If he can hold him to three, he's got an opportunity to win this game. If he gives up a touchdown here, it is going to be tough sledding for Dubby. Third and five. If Dubby gets a stop here, you're going to see a timeout. Great job by Joel mixing up the run with Gurley and Ajay. Here comes that inside zone again, Scott. Right back to it, Gurley. Come they on, can't dude. stop him. Need it! Come on! TG2 is in there for six. Neededgamestore.com. How to stop inside zone is not there, folks. <laughs> oh, 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 and Joel is capping. <laughs> Shots out Dubby's clothing brand store. Your shirts, your hoodies. There's no run defense at neededgaming.com. Oh, Lord. <laughs> The cat. 
G A W D. One more, man. Come on, fight, boys. Mm, it bad. Oh, it bad. Two thirty-two left in this one. <laughs> At least he was creative with the capping. You know what I mean, Coltrane? Yeah. Right. I don't know if he's got a team of riders. Get your shirts, your hoodies. No run defense. You got to think Mike Skimbo's back home watching this, licking his chops. Not a fan of uh, Joel calling out his buddy Dubby. Uh oh. Dubby! Yes, oh, 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 D shot oh. Jackson! Why are you giving that up? It's Why not over. over. No. And look at the savagery of Dubby. He doesn't even blink. Responds right back, punches Joel in the mouth, and look at him keeping his composure. Big two point play here, Scott. This is to tie the game. This is it. Quick throw. Oh, he and we it. are tied in Los Angeles oh, here at the Madden Challenge. And that's veteran stuff right there, Coltrane. Your opponent starts capping at you. You don't feed into it. You focus at the task at hand, and you light them up on the scoreboard. Way to fight, Dub Dot. You can find t-shirts, hoodies, and dots and bombs. Need a game at score.com. <laughs> what a game. Well, Dubby called Joel out at the Madden Classic back in October. Said, if you want a cap, you come here. We're tied with two. 17 to go in this one. Joel with the ball. Both guys with three timeouts, RG. Up on the corner. Gurley. Oh my God. Man. Finally able to stop him. Going to cook a dot Look here, at this kiddo. again. Going to cook a dot here, kiddo. Dubby, that old he line to cook a dot here, Steps kiddo. up in the pocket. Good presence. Oh, oh, Watch oh, one rip. Oh, you you want to cook a dot here, kiddo. Two point conversion that tied it up. We're man, at the two cool. minute warning, folks. I've said it before, you put these Philly guys' backs against the wall, they often turn into something special. They'll be showing that right now. Big third down here. Marino. Joel has plenty of time. Playmakers upfield. Block shed and a huge sack by Miles Garrett back at the 22. Fourth and forever. Wow, the amount of work Dubby was doing with his yeah, user defender on that play. He took about three, took away about three different routes, Coltrane. That was a coverage sack. Now you gotta summon your inner killer Mike. Oh my goodness. Fourth and 22. Oh my goodness. I don't know about this one, Joel. Three man line. You gotta dial up the heat here if you're Dubby. Oh, you gotta watch the deep end of curl. Three man line, 85. That deep dig is so successful. Goes for the out route. First down, Joel. It is so hot. Like, literally, everyone, just sit there for a second. Record that. Go back if you need to. Clip it. That is hot. That is, oh, my God. I mean, oh, my God. Oh, my. Oh, you go over there? Oh, that is so hot. Oh, my. Oh. Come on, man. That's the same sounds I made when I Come on, it's not tore over, my man. knee out one time. I mean, Joel's up there calling for his own replays. Said clip it, record it, and it was hot. Fourth and 22, you want to talk about ice in your veins. Let's talk about Joel CP with his tournament life on the line. Doesn't even blink, goes for it on fourth and 22, and throws the Philadelphia natives back back against the wall. What a battle. Bouye on the tackle, second and two. 60 seconds to go. Here in this wild card game between Dubby and Joel. Gurley picks up the first down and more. He's on the edge of field goal range. Yeah, he's flirting with field goal range right now. This is intense, Coltrane. Caleb Sturgis is the kicker for both of these guys. Got a wonder. Dubby going to run commit. Look at that clock. Joel's just controlling that clock. He's going to take as much of it as he can. Dubby not wasting those timeouts. Oh, no, he hiked it early. Turns it upfield now. He's in field goal range. And here's where some strategy comes in. Going to save those timeouts. Maybe try to ice them. That's a good point, Coltrane. Goes to Jaye. That's what he's going to do. 
Tubby is conceded trying to get this ball back. He's going to try to save those timeouts yeah, baby. so we can ice Joel. Joel will use his first timeout. Trying to avoid the ice. 85. Got to assume Joel's on the conservative ball carrier. Coach adjustment right now. Yeah, and if you W, you put your coach in the judgment, you put the strip ball one to it. Everything on aggressive. is on aggressive. Tackle is on aggressive. You need to do anything you can. Dubby needs some Madden magic. Joel this inside, trying to finish this one out. This inside zone's been killing Dubby. Ajaye. To the six. That Joel will call timeout here. Two seconds left. Ball's on the left hash of the six. And there's the timeout. There's the ice. Little ice ice baby. Yo, VIP, let's kick it. It's up, and it is good. And Joel. I promise you, I promise you, I'm not leaving. Bye-bye. Good game, man. Congratulations. Good game, bro. Some good sportsmanship on, there. Come on, man. Joel in the moment. Oh, my God. You can't believe it. Three-point win. On a last-second field goal. Oh, Drove it cold. down the field, RG, and then... Avoided the ice, kicked it through. Oh, man, that young man has fire in his heart. He's been waiting for this opportunity for so long. You got to give credit to Dub Dot Dubby, one oh, of yeah. the most respectable players in the community. You saw him immediately gave Joel a good game. He's proud of him. But right now, it's Joel's time. He's been waiting for since last year to be here. And it's funny enough, you called it last yeah. year. You said, I won't be surprised if we see those young up and kind of up-and-comers Joel and Drini at a live event, yep. and here they both are, and they're both in the final four. Those two in top, Madden, have a lot to be proud about. Unbelievable game. Let's go down to the winner. Unbelievable indeed. Joel, you got the win. Last final moments. How do you feel? Uh, I feel absolutely amazing. Number one thing I know for a fact is, like for my salary cap team, I can't kick ice field goals. So if anyone was wondering, I was running the ball down to make sure that I basically would make it. I mean, this stage is absolutely completely huge. I'm scared. I'm not going to lie. I was nervous. I'm playing Dubby. Uh, I knew that I needed to win this game, basically to lock myself in the ultimate league. So I wanted to make sure I got down to basically where if I miss, I, I shouldn't even be playing com competitive Madden in the first place. And you were quite audible out there. You know, was it something personal for you? Um, nah, me and Dubby just have a rivalry on the sticks. I don't really hate him as a person off the sticks. I really don't hate anybody that much except for Joke. I know you're watching that. But uh, everyone else, I don't. No, I don't have a problem with anyone else. I, I like everybody, man. It's just Madden. We all have a, a passion for it. Dubby, I know he has the same amount of passion as me, but I just need to win that game because I know he's locked in the Ultimate League, but I'm not. And young Kiv, he's next. He's going to take everything he got. Yeah, me and Kiv are going to have a good game. Uh, I know that he's going to bring his all. We've always had good games. Uh, he's usually up on me, but he has that same type of competitive uh, mindset and uh, passion like W does. So it should be a good game at the end of the day. Congratulations again to Dave and the gang. Thank you, AJ.